the second one. There he is. Let's go on to the second one. So there's a little bit more. Room. On two occasions in 2021, Trump showed classified documents to others as follows. In, J in July of 2021, at Trump National Golf Club in Bet Bedminster, New Jersey, during an audio recorded meeting with a writer, a publisher, and two members of his staff, none of whom possessed the security clearance, Trump showed and described a plan of attack that Trump said was prepared for him by the Department of Defense and a senior military official. Trump told the individuals that the plan was highly confidential and secret. Trump also said, as president, I could have declassified it, and now I can't, you know, but this is still a secret. In August or September of 2021 at the Bedminster Club, Trump showed a representative of his political action committee who did not possess a security clearance, a classified map related to military operation and the representative that he should not be showing it to the representative and that the representative should not get too close. The indictment also reads, on March 30th of 2022, the Federal Bureau of Investigation opened a criminal investigation into the unlawful retention of classified documents at the Mar-a-Lago Club. A federal grand jury investigation began next month. The grand jury issue issued a subpoena requiring Trump to turn over all documents with classified markings. Trump endeavored to obstruct the FBI and grand jury investigations and conceal his continued retention of classified documents by, among other things, suggesting that his attorney falsely represent to the FBI and grand jury that Trump did not have documents called for by the grand jury subpoena, directing a defendant Walty Nauta to uh, move boxes of documents to conceal them from Trump attorney, the FBI and grand jury, suggesting that his attorney hide or destroy documents called for by the grand jury subpoena, providing to the FBI and grand jury just some of the documents called for by the grand jury subpoena while claiming he was cooperating fully and causing a certificate certification to be submitted to the FBI and grand jury falsely representing that all documents called for by the grand jury subpoena had been produced while knowing that in fact not all such documents had been produced there sir in, in, in other words hold on I'm gonna get, I'll let you finish this in other words hey Trump we know you what you're doing just give us the boxes back Give us the documents back. Give us the hard drives back. And we'll just brush this under the rug and pretend like none of this happened. Just give us the stuff back. And we be, we'll, we will be done with this. It'll be a footnote in history. It'll be a blip. Just give us the boxes back. Dude. You didn't even want to do that. No, because they were his. Mm -hmm. He thought about it, declassifying them. So that declassified them. If I came to you and said, give me your car, you're just going to give me your car? Depends. You got a gun. I mean, my car is fully insured. So, okay. You got, you got a no, gun. No, I'm just asking for your car. No, this is just a random guy. This, not threatening I, I, I in any way. Just say, hey, give me your car. I got the logic, but if I you come to me and say, give me my car or give me your car back, that's what these boxes are. It's not it wasn't his. He could think whatever the hell he wants to. Yeah, they never belong to him. But that's what you're up against, is what he what he's uh, that, that's claiming to think. The guy is a narcissist. His, his entire life, from the time he was a little kid, he's never been told no. He's always gotten what he wants. And his, and his consequences have always been minimal, and there's always been somebody else to take the fall for him. But mm -hmm. going to this video that we just watched, though, sir, I get it. It's hard sometimes to read live because they're giving you information as you're trying to do it. And, and they may even be talking in your ear while you're trying to do this. I get it. But, sir, this your job. I need you to not sound like a 10th grade high school student trying to read their paper in front of the class for the first time. I just need you to be, you got to tighten that one up, bro. You can't but, be. But and then it was, 
I, there was some it, like what you scared? Yeah, you shot all the words anyway. in there. You shy? That was some big words in there, Theo. Leave that. Not for up. no. It's big <laughs> words. It's big words for somebody who's had trouble getting through high school. It's big words for somebody who may not have had the opportunity, or maybe when That's they went to college, they were in mathematical language. disciplines. They weren't focused on language arts. Big mm -hmm. words. But this guy's in journalism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He was the best one they had to put on TV. I, okay, you know I'm what, done. To be the funny thing about it is, I, honestly, because this was probably the first time he was reading it, and he thought it was cool just reading it cold. He I, probably I, had no I, choice I but that, to read I it cold. in English a long time ago. Even when they say, read your paper, and everybody was like, why do I practice reading your paper? Why should I practice reading my paper? I'm the one that wrote it. Okay, this is what happens when you don't practice reading your paper. Cause yeah, but I mean, like I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll say that he did not have the opportunity to read it beforehand. Yeah, I'll give him that because this is all you know flowing. But you need to be better than that, sir. Sir, now you got now you got to read Mickey's comment. What well, yeah, her last, last comment? Her very oh. last one. Plus, he needed time for his goons to go through the documents. That's what I'm know saying. Which would be best to sell to Putin, MBS, UN, XI? UN and Xi. Kim oh, Jong Un yeah. and President Xi. Yep, China, Soviet Union, and whoever MBS is. I always forget who they are. MBS is Saudi Arabia, the prince. Saudi Arabia, the crown prince, Thank yeah. You. Okay. Because you notice Jared Kushner got a whole, whole lot of money from Saudi Arabia. See, this is one like he didn't just take those documents just oh so I could brag. Nah. No. But I mean, he's been doing I wasn't these saying things. that was the only reason. No, I wouldn't no, that wasn't that, that's just for anybody that says because I've heard that a lot. I'm like, nah, yeah, it's more than that. Cause he does but it's never just brag. that with wow. Trump. Like people oh, underestimate oh, his oh, intelligence oh, oh, all the time.